Good morning, first graders. Coming to you live. Well, not so much. I take that back. Coming to you not live, but pre-recorded on this lovely rainy morning. Um, I'm sporting my elephant robe, and we have a special friend who's going to be joining us. This is Ellie. Ellie says hi. <laughs> This is my daughter Kylie's elephant that I brought back from Vegas on the airplane to my daughter. Look at how big it is. Imagine it too, how, like basically, look at how tall it is. I would say my daughter was maybe up to here on Ellie. And she would walk around with Ellie. Let me just show you this before I read you the book. <laughs> She'd walk around with Ellie like this. It was so cute. <laughs> All right, so anyway, um, Ellie's going to be joining us for the story, and the story is a short, fun, little playful um, book. It is um, fictitious. It's fiction. That means it's not real. And it's called Things That Are the Most in the World by Judy Barrett and illustrated by John Nichol. I love this book. I love books in general. I wonder if I'm going to say that about, that about every book I read you. To things that are the most, the least, and everything in between. That looks like that was a book dedication. The wiggliest thing in the world is a snake ice skating. That would be pretty wiggly. No arms to put up for balance. That would be very, no tails like monkeys have for balance. Whoa. I would not want to see that. The silliest thing in the world is a chicken in a frog costume. Look at the other frogs are like, what is he doing? The quietest thing in the world is a worm chewing peanut butter. He's so quiet, the little boy can sleep right through it. <clears throat> These are some good um, adjectives, some good describing words. The prickliest thing in the world is the inside of a pin cushion. That would be pretty prickly. Do you notice the armadillo in the center? The hottest thing in the world is a fire-breathing dragon eating a pepperoni pizza. It's so hot he's got a little fan. He's got smoke coming out of his snout. Others are looking on like, whoa, that's some pretty... Pretty hot, fiery pizza. The oddest thing in the world is an ant windsurfing in a bowl of split pea soup. Yep, that'd be pretty odd. Isn't this a neat title? The things that are the most in the world. What's next? That was the oddest. Can you think of anything more odd, more strange than that? The teensy, weensiest thing in the world is a newborn flea. I think maybe that's inside the fur of a dog or another creature perhaps. Can you think of anything smaller than that? The longest thing in the world is what you'd have if you tied every single strand of spaghetti together end to end. That would be pretty long. I like the illustrations in this book. I think they're clever. 
the jumpiest thing in the world is 2,222 toads on a trampoline. Last week we wrote tongue twisters. Can you say that fast? 2,222 toads on a trampoline. Try it again. 2,222 toads on a trampoline. 2,222 toads on a trampoline. I'm not super good at it. Can you think of anything jumpier than that? The smelliest. Oh, this is right up our alley. We like gross. The smelliest thing in the world is a skunk convention. Convention is a group of people. Can you think of anything smellier than that? Looks like they're supporting this skunk for president, perhaps. What would be smellier than a skunk convention? Hmm. The stickiest thing in the world is a 400,000 pound wad of bubble gum. <laughs> Look at everything that's stuck to it. Looks like it's rolling down a hill, sticking everything to it in its path. Can you think of anything stickier than that? Stickiest. Another adjective. The heaviest thing in the world is a Tyrannosaurus Rex weighing himself. <laughs> Look at him in his big boy underwear. It looks like he's going to brush his teeth. And he's pretty heavy. I'm surprised he's not so heavy it's not breaking the scale. <laughs> he's trying to cram on there. And look at the perspective of the tiny little toilet, which shows you just how big he is. Can you think of anything heavier than that? And the highest thing in the world is the very top of the sky. Does the sky go on and on forever? Does it ever end? Ooh, look at the ladder. Cool perspective. You can tell it's getting higher and higher and higher and we're looking down because it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Cool perspective. The end. Ooh, and there's a spot at the back and it looks like one of my children filled this out years ago. It says the hmm-ist thing in the world is Hmm. And my child wrote, I think this is Tyler, the coolest thing in the world is a street bike. <laughs> what would you, how would you complete this sentence? The hmmest thing in the world is, I'm going to encourage you to write that as a journal entry this week. So be thinking. I hope this book inspired you for a girl, good journal entry or two. Thank you for joining us. Um, I miss you guys, first graders, and I will make sure to have another book that I can read to you the following day. Love spending the time with you guys. Mwah. Bye.